Hello and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to cook a mild chicken curry. Here we have a list of the ingredients used to cook this meal. If you would like to have written instructions of how to cook this meal, please send me an email as shown at the bottom of the list. Okay, let's begin the preparation of the ingredients. First of all, the onions chopped into small pieces. Then we have the tomatoes cut into segments. And finally, the chicken thighs will be cooked in whole pieces. To begin, one tablespoonful of sunflower oil, to which we will add three tablespoonfuls of Madras spice paste. Blend the two together gradually, then put the heat under the pan. And then we can begin adding the ingredients. Blend the onions in with the mix. We will add one pint of water to the mix, but we'll do it slowly. Two spoonfuls of curry powder and then we can begin to add the ingredients. Chicken thighs. Sprinkle some coriander on top. Then we have the tomatoes. And finally the spinach. But only put half the packet on for now. Uh, this will reduce down and we put the remainder on towards the end of the meal. Finally, add some salt to suit your taste. Keep turning the mix over, make sure the meat is well cooked. Then you can take the skins off the tomatoes as they're quite soft now. Add the remainder of the spinach and put the lid on. The curry is almost cooked, so we now need to prepare the rice. Put one and a half pints of water into a medium sized saucepan. A touch of salt, bring to the boil. Add one cupful of rice for two people and cook for 11 minutes from the moment the rice begins to boil again. In the meantime, keep stirring the mix to make sure it doesn't catch on the bottom of the pan. As soon as your timer tells you the rice is cooked, you must drain it into a colander. There is sufficient food in the pan for four people, so if you need more rice, double up on the quantity of rice that you cook. Bon appetit, enjoy your meal.